Hopefully a quick video here. What I want to do is show you how I have figured out a way to set up machine inside Cubase as a track preset. And that includes a track for machine itself and then eight MIDI tracks that are all assigned to machine and set up just to start working with hopefully only a few clicks. So the thing I will say is that I'm using Cubase 14 for this and machine 3.0, which just came out. Both of them actually just came out. Some things may change. I don't know exactly how this is going to work on a PC. Someone please try this out and let me know. The thing you're going to have to do is watch my other video on setting up machine with Cubase in around 2022. So I'll have a link for that in the description. And it is very detailed on how you have to set up these tracks. It is a huge pain. So don't get me wrong. This is not like me saying, oh, here's the dream setup for Cubase and machine. It's a bit of a pain to set up. So once you get it set up, hopefully it'll work for you and you can just start working with Cubase. And anytime you want to pull machine in, you pull up your track preset, you have it all right there. If you only need one track, you just delete the other MIDI tracks and it's just ready to rock. And I think that's the biggest problem I found, even as a Cubase and a machine user, was just getting this to work all the time and getting it to work properly. I also have a video on how to set up machine or machine plus as a controller basically for Cubase. And it would be really easy for you to follow what I'm doing here today and switch back and forth between using machine just the way you normally use machine inside Cubase and switching to the controller mode by pressing shift channel and using the template that I created with my friend Nico. So I'll have a link to that video in the description as well. So once you have machine set up properly inside Cubase by following that, those steps in that other video, then what you're going to end up with is something like I've got in this project right here. And I'm going to walk you through all the different tracks and all of the settings. And at some points you may want to take some screenshots just to make sure that you have everything set up exactly the same. And it's quite finicky. I do find that sometimes things seem to work and sometimes they don't. And I guarantee I'm going to have some people who say I've tried everything and it's just not working because one setting is off. That's all it takes. So let's have a look at what we've got in here. First thing I've got is the Machine Master. When that is just creating an instrument track in Cubase. Go add instrument track and choose Machine 3.0 as the instrument. Then I have a whole bunch of MIDI tracks that are all set up to output to machine. And again, this is all the stuff I walked through in that video. The machine here has four different kits loaded. Then it has two groups that are just set up to be samples and two groups that are set up to be a bass or a pad. And you'll see that working with kits, let's load up kit two here. Working with kits inside Cubase is going to be different than working with an instrument. So I've also got some instrument tracks in here, like this bass, which is just this bass sound here in Machine. So it's a Massive X patch, actually. So now I've got a kit loaded right there. It's ready to play. And if I want to load another kit in here, I can go over to Groups and I can go, all right, let's go to Drift Theory. And, and let's just load up another kit. And as long as I have plus routing turned off, then when I load a new kit, it's going to keep the routing that I've got set up for the original template kit, which is really important. And by the way, I did try to have my colors coordinate. So I made, you know, every group have a different color. And then I tried to have them coincide with the colors on Cubase, but with Cubase and track presets, the colors just didn't work out perfectly, which was a big bummer to me because I'd love to just look here and be able to see the exact same color. So here's kit one, of course I'm in. So there we can hear the, the drums are recording into Cubase. The MIDI is going into machine. The sound is coming out of machine and everything is working the way it should. If I go to say a samples group here, so here I've got a sample loaded up. So now what I'm gonna do is go over the drum map setup in Cubase. And this is a little bit weird because we're dealing with different MIDI channels for different gr groups of drums or kits. And normally in Cubase, drums are set to channel 10. So if you wanna use the drum map, which is one of my favorite features of Cubase, 
And if you just go to GM map and you draw a chunk in, you'll see that the channel is automatically set to channel 10. And that is just not the case here in machine. Because our drums here, our groups, are set to start on C3, really all we need to worry about is starting at C3 right here, and we're gonna set those to any. So we're gonna set all 16 of them to any. I, can't, I haven't figured out a way to do this automatically. And if you want to, what you can do is actually go make a custom drum map. So we're gonna go right here to drum map setup, and we're gonna click a new one, and we're gonna call it machine group. And now what I'm gonna do is go over to C3, and I'm gonna start changing the channel from right there. So I'm gonna go through, set these all to any, and we'll come back here in a sec. Okay, so I've just made my machine group, and you can see I started on C3, I'm calling it pad one, two, three, four, et cetera, all the way up. So now what you should be able to do is go to your kits and just make sure that they are set to the map that's called machine group. Click on this one, we're gonna set it to machine group. Click on this one, set it to machine group. And on this one, and we're gonna set it to machine group. But we can try this out now with my four different groups and we're gonna try recording something and just make sure they all work properly. Go to the second group. Third group, and fourth group. Okay, and now we can just check that they work. Yep, they're all working, that's perfect. So last thing to do is just double check that everything else is working, my samples are working, my bass is working, and my pad is working, okay. We've got that working. We've also got actual drum editor with pads na named and all set to MIDI channel any. So the last thing to do is to go and select all of your tracks. Right click the tracks and go save track preset. Already made this, so we're gonna call it machine three, 2024, all final, 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 final for real. So now I hit okay, save the project, and then now we're gonna make a new project and see if this worked. Okay, new project, and now all we have to do is go right click and go add using track preset. So just right click and go using track preset, and there is my track preset. Let's click on it, hit add track, and there might be something we need to change here. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is. So I go to my kit one, and I click on kit one right here. And if you don't see any MIDI in the MIDI track right away, then you know something's up. And then if we go to our samples, those ones are working. So it does feel like the instrument tracks and stuff like that are gonna work just fine, but it's just these kits that we have to go do something specific to. So I'm gonna shift click on all of them. See if I go shift option and click, it'll change all four of my selected tracks there. Shift option and click on the routing here. And I want to make sure that the input is set to machine three event output. So we actually get the sound coming off of our machine. Now we should be good to go. And that didn't work. Oh. Make sure you're on the right group. Let's go to group three. And group four. Okay, did everybody catch that? You have to make sure you're clicked on the right group. Oh, it's all working. My template is alive and all I have to do is go change the routing of my groups and then everything should work. And then now you can click on your virtual instrument, you can go to your first kit and start trying any other kit out. Let's go to uh, something like Hazy Days, double click, make sure routing isn't on, and then we should be good here, we should be good. Nope, yep, there we go. All right, and we're good. I'm gonna start using machine a lot more inside Cubase because of this little trick. Little trick, boy, that was really quick, hey? Yeah, anyways, I really hope this helps you out. If it does, please let me know in the comments. Uh, there's an affiliate link in the description that's a way to help me out. You know, if you wanna help me out, that's a good way to do it. And let me know what else you wanna see for videos, Cubase, machine, whatever, or something totally different, music making, stuff like that. I'd rather be doing that kind of stuff anyways, but this is important stuff and stuff that you're not just gonna be able to easily find 
how to do yourself. So hopefully it helped you out. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.